Trubosky with another one. Best guess at the next 2024 commitment for Notre Dame. Honestly, man, I think that's a little too early to, to kind of dive into. I, I think we got to look at who sets up a visit to come back to Notre Dame early this fall. Um, you know, they, they, these guys want to come back for a game day visit, and then um, we'll see if they kind of fall in love with the place. If they're close, they want to take that trip, and then they jump on board. But a few names that I'm watching, four-star offensive lineman Gerby Lambert. He's not a guy that I think is a heavy Notre Dame lean. I'm not saying that they're 100% out front for him. But I think that they have a really good shot there. And I think Harry Heastan likes him enough. He's making that early push that it's going to be tough for him to say no to Notre Dame. So he's a guy to watch if he can get on campus. Four-star cornerback Caleb Beasley is one to watch. Four-star safety Josiah Brown um, is a guy that I think Notre Dame, you know, he sits high on Notre Dame's list. And I think he's got a lot of uh, interest in Notre Dame. Um, let me think here. Who else? Four-star wide receiver Emmett Mosley. Uh, double legacy. I think he's got a ton of interest in the Irish, just about getting him back on campus. Four-star running back Aeneas Williams, um, I could see landing at Notre Dame. Anthony Specka, four-star linebacker, is a guy that early on I projected Notre Dame to land. Now I'm a little on the fence. I'm hearing a lot of smoke about Michigan. I think Mike Elson's the lead recruiter there. He's doing a really good job, so watch out for Michigan. But if he does get back to Notre Dame early this fall, you know, watch out for them. Four-star edge Jay Sean Ross is a guy that I think that, that Notre Dame's doing a really good job for. Jacob and Gerard Smith, four-star defensive linemen. Those guys, again, strongly considering Notre Dame, and Notre Dame likes them a lot. TJ Lindsay, four-star edge, or, or maybe a three-star edge, is a guy that that the that Al Washington likes a great deal. Notre Dame thinks he's one of the more underrated guys in the country, so watch out for him. I don't necessarily think five-star defensive lineman Justin Scott is too close to making a decision. Um, ideally, he gets back to Notre Dame this fall, and you never know at that point. And then lastly, I'd probably single out Four-star edge. Gabriel Williams is a guy that I think Notre Dame's in good shape for. But again, it all comes down to visits.